Hey everyone, Devin here. So today we're going to unbox a uh, lithium iron phosphate battery that I bought on Amazon. Um, it's called a TCB Worth. Uh, not too many reviews or other videos showing anything about this thing, so figured I'd try it out um, and uh, see what it's all about. So I actually have two of them. I'm planning to put in my trailer to replace my old six volt uh, flooded lead acid batteries. Um, I also have 2000 watt inverter and automatic transfer switch that I put in. And um, so I'm hoping these lithium iron phosphate batteries will uh, give me the performance I'm sort of looking for. So anyways, um, these batteries, um, uh, they actually are UL listed by a certifying company in China. They aren't uh, Canada, US, UL, UL listed, but the testing um, that the supplier showed me uh, through uh, that certification company was, it was pretty um, comprehensive. It included most things. So uh, it was good to see all the tests that they did. Anyway, so let's uh, start an unboxing and, and see what's in here. <laughs> I guess first of all, I should notice um, it's came in the mail. Obviously, you can't see anything about batteries or anything on here. A little bit of damage there. Um, they actually are supposed to have identification uh, for hazardous goods because you actually aren't allowed to transport uh, batteries without uh, following the requirements of uh, hazardous materials. So we got a manual here. Looks pretty generic. Um, whole bunch of mix of uh, Asian and English language. Um, shows all the specifications, product description, storage, maintenance, transportation, uh, and notes on battery use. So let's pull this thing out. Let's see here. Let's put it on the side. So, Lots of foam, which is really nice. You could pretty much drop this thing off a, off a roof and it would survive, it looks like. So that's good for transportation. Oh, and it comes with a couple uh, copper lugs as well, so you don't have to buy those. They look like it's uh, pure copper. I have to test that, but we'll see. So we take these things off. <clears throat> and so, 100 amp hours, 12.8 volts. Um, actually, on the pictures shown uh, online where I bought it, actually had a UL listing print here, but um, maybe they took that off. Uh, I'm not sure why, but anyways, um, what else we got here? Uh, just some other notices. So essentially, you don't blow this thing up, um, and how to take care of it, I guess. So interesting, and. It doesn't seem to be bulged or anything like that. It looks pretty flat, which is good. Good sign. Um, yeah, it looks pretty straight. Um, so that's good. Um, it does sound, seem pretty hollow here, so maybe they haven't used um, any foam or glue at the top. But down here, it sounds like they have glued it down at the bottom. On top, it is fairly empty sounding. Um, uh, I'm not going to actually crack this one open because I actually need it. And <laughs> so I'm not going to buy another one for you guys. Um, uh, what else did I notice here that I should mention? Um, oh, I did say um, online that it's 10.1 kgs in weight. I actually did measure it. Um, I'm sorry, 10.1 is 22 point something, but anyways, I measured it myself and it was previously 20, 22 pounds, uh, which is crazy light considering an equivalent 100 amp hour lead acid, like deep cycle marine battery is like 70 pounds. Um, so this thing literally feels like there's almost nothing inside. So that's, that's super impressive. I'd imagine they're all like that, but anyways, it's just my new experience to 
to lithium. So, anyway, sorry, it looks a little wobbly. It's just because my bench is actually uh, has a little dip in it. So. All right, guys, so I did a uh, capacity test on the TCB Worth battery. Um, this is on March 9th, 2023. Uh, so all I did is essentially just ran it at a um, eight hour seed rate, which is about 12, 12 and a half um, amps out of this thing. Uh, I actually went a little bit lower just because of the loads that I had, but um anyways so i recorded everything and what i did was essentially as you can see here i essentially just averaged the current for that whole entire time i started at 1 p.m finished just after 9 9 p.m actually just over eight hours total and so uh, i've calculated my capacity to be about 8.2 hours times by 12.2 amps on average and that's given me it's 100 amp hours so it uh, it gives what it says and so that's great um, and then also in the watt hour uh, also 12 1252 watt hours for capacity I'm uh, just calculating it based on the averages so um, yeah no it pulls full capacity so that's uh, that's great all right here's my uh, battery that's been soaking overnight um, about 10, 10 hours at minus three. Um, as you can see, the casing is still minus a half over here, minus one and a half. I mean, this might be too much reflection for it, but outside, it's starting to warm up to the outside, but the battery is still minus one and a half. So if we go over to the trailer and turn on the the solar, so I have it set right here, showing the actual current going to the battery, and I can turn on my solar after a little while here. This is the panel voltage. The MPPT will start to kick on and the voltage will start dropping. So it's already putting one amp into the battery. Oh, five amps into the battery, and the battery is still approximately minus one, minus two degrees Celsius. Still putting it in. So low temperature protection doesn't seem to be working unless it's a different set point. All right. It doesn't look cold, but it is. All right, so we got the other one was charging but anyways we'll change over the terminals whoops all right so charger picked it up showing only 12.7 actually so we'll see what happens here i'm going to give it eight amps See if it starts charging. Oh. Oh, so actually it's cutting it out. Beautiful. So it is minus 10. Interesting. Yeah, the manufacturer is claiming that minus 10 is okay, but <clears throat> from my research shows me that. It definitely is not, um, especially at hard, high charge rates, um, charging, I guess, lithium iron phosphate at like 0.1 C is generally okay up to minus, minus 10 C. So, however, it's pretty hard to control that, um, uh, especially with solar or if your battery charger is like a 50 amp charger. So, 
not too uh, sure about that. I was really hoping it would just be zero, but um, I guess not. So that's a, that's a flaw in my opinion. So I am going to try to get close to 100 amps anyways. It's sort of difficult, but um, so I'm going to run my toaster again, but I think I can turn on the air conditioner fan only on the trailer, which draws, I think, quite a bit of juice. So we'll do this, which still gives us a 65 amps. And then if I turn this just to fan, uh, fan only on high, uh, I think it draws quite a bit. Let's see what it does here. <laughs> So we are drawing 107 amps, so that's pretty good. 12.2, that's incredible with, with him. Um, so I'm just gonna double check my clamp on here to make sure that it's not, there's no offset in amps. So, okay, it's pretty good. So let's, let's throw that out again, do another clamp. So we are doing 105. I actually do wanna see how continuous that truly is. I wonder if it will actually kick out probably over multiple minutes i'd imagine that would take quite a while for uh for it to heat up to trip any type of thermal overload so we're still putting 108 And we still got 12 too. So look at that. Still about 108. I mean, that's sort of why about two batteries is you can go really up to 200 amps, which gives you the full 2000 watts for a 2000 watt inverter, which I do have. And it can essentially just run that for an hour straight, which is, which is pretty amazing. Um, I'm not sure if this thing will actually be able to run the air conditioner. Uh, I don't want to do it with one battery because the surge is definitely way, way over. 200 amps for a couple cycles but uh for two batteries it, it might not might actually be able to pull it off i'm not sure if the inverter is gonna uh, be able to do that surge but i think it did say like 2500 watt surge or maybe 3000 i'm not sure uh, it might trip but oh there's the toaster toaster went off so anyways it did do 100 for a while so that's good I think that uh, passes the test.